Mexico has had no shortage of correct po corrupt politicians in recent years. Next week, voters will decide if New Mexico should join the ranks of almost every other state by forming an ethics commission, an ethics commission with teeth. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with the tale. Now, with Jessica and Dean, it was an idea for a constitutional amendment that lawmakers passed during the 2017 legislative session. If voters approve it, it'll put New Mexico in line with 44 other states. And it's diminished our state's reputation and our citizens' faith in the, public, in the political process. Phil Griego, Diana Duran. The public has no faith in our system right now. Robert V. Hill and Manny Aragon. Just a sampling of New Mexico public officials convicted of corruption. Could a state ethics commission have benefited the investigation into each of them? Common Cause New Mexico, a nonprofit that aims to make politics more transparent, thinks so. Maybe having an ethics commission could have stopped some of these problems earlier. Heather Ferguson is the executive director. We need to have one central one-stop shop for people to both file complaints, have the commission to be able to investigate and initiate their own issues that they may have or see come up and then also issue these advisory opinions. She's hoping voters will say yes to the constitutional amendment to establish a bipartisan seven member state ethics commission that would have subpoena power to investigate claims against elected officials, employees of the legislative and executive branches, even lobbyists and government contractors. The attorney general's office, which investigates some public corruption, says it supports the establishment of the commission with proper funding and training resources, adding that our state deserves better. The other five states without one include neighboring Arizona. A simple majority in each chamber passed the joint resolution back in 2017. No governor's signature was needed. The House voted unanimously. However, nine state senators voted against the measure. All but one of them, John Arthur Smith, are Republicans. Now, I reached out to those nine senators. Ron Griggs, Pat Woods, and Bill Scherer got back to me, all saying the current system, which is split among multiple agencies, works well enough. Senator Scherer also said he believes this will be turned into a weapon and used for political purposes. Dean, back to you. Madeline, thank you. A simple majority by voters would be needed to amend the Constitution. The legislature would then pass a bill clarifying the commission's specific duties in 2019.